So this is big. And today, I got my coyote killer with me. What's up? Tell him, what's up, Eddie? What's up, fella? You know what we're going to do today? Hunting season's over in South Mississippi. So, just to try some different things, I'm going to put two piles of corn out. And we're going to do this for a few videos. I'm going to put like maple syrup, maybe, not maple syrup, ain't nobody in the South to eat that. Some cane syrup. We're going to put some Kool-Aid. We're going to try, I don't know, y'all let me know. Um, so we're going to put two piles of corn out. One pile is not going to have nothing. It's just going to be corn. And the other pile will have a flavor of my choice on it. And we'll see who likes what. We got plenty of raccoons. My does stay here. I only got, you know, y'all know I only got 15 acres. I only got about six, seven acres of woods. But uh, I got at least, I know, two does, maybe three that live here all year round. And uh, so, you know, we try to keep them here because they the ones that bring uh, all the boys to the yard. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put two piles of corn out and let y'all follow me on that. We're going to put this out. We're going to have a trail camera set up and uh, we're going to shoot a few trail camera videos and see who knows what happened. So come take a walk with me. We're going in the field. Um, I put a little, I made, I cut a little patch out in the middle of the woods. And I got another one on my top field up there. We're going to um, put half a half a jug of Kool-Aid on one. We're going to go up to the top, put a half a jug of Kool-Aid on the other one. Who knows what's going to happen? But it'll be something to watch, something different. Who knows? We might stumble across some kind of Kool-Aid mix or something that that is irresistible. Or if y'all know something that's irresistible that they just can't live without, let me know. I will put it on a pile of corn and we will find out what's what. We're going. All right. So look, I'm at the first spot. This is what it looks like. I just made a clearing out here in the woods. We're going to put that corn and some Kool-Aid. There's a game trail right here. Got a little tree. So let me get this set up. And uh, I'll see y'all in a second. Well, every time you hit the string on the first try, it feels like you won the lottery. And don't throw your damn trash all over the place. So what we got here is tropical punch. Just like that. We're about to do some science. This is the trail hammers. These are like two for 80 bucks at Sam's. They've never failed. But you know what? Inside here where the car and the batteries are, it's been getting wet. So I built a little house over it. We're going to see how that works.
That didn't work. There we go. So it's going to be two weeks before we come back. So we'll see what happens in two weeks. Let's go to the other one. Give y'all a little footage of my, what's left of my woods after that tornado knocked everything down. going through the woods in the buggy y'all know i ain't been on this buggy in probably a few months because july 4th i had a slight accident me and my brother we were full and i don't mean full of food you should not operate one of these nowheres when anything like alcohol is involved and i'm not gonna lie i was uh, a little bit past the limit and we flipped this Yamaha Viking over I, I don't even know I was knocked out two maybe three times spent a week in the hospital punctured lung broken ribs fractured skull got a few stitches in my head there's a nice scar now so it ain't worth it like having a good time, you can have a good time. Either I'm having, either I'm gonna have some libations with my people and not ride the buggy, or I'm gonna ride the buggy and not drink at all because I'm I'm too old for that shit. That 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 like to put me under. So uh, yeah, I can tell you this: if you ever had a question about the roll cage in a Yamaha Viking. You answer, look, I'm telling you right now, the only thing happened was this. My roof got a little crack in it. My windshield got a little crack in it. And my mirror got a little wiped out. But other than that, Yamahas are built to last. That's all I'm going to tell you. Because this thing here has taken a beat and uh, prevailed. So let's get this other trail camera out. And then we, we, we're going to head back to New Orleans. So I'll see y'all in a second. All right. So here's camera number two. Yep. Built the little house on this one too. Over here is a pile of corn. Got pile number one. Pile number two. I even made pile number two a little bigger just to see what happened. I was on, you know, 10 pounds or so. And I'm going to pour this Kool-Aid. I mean, it pour it all in there, right? Why not? Mix it up a little bit. Then we're going to see which one the animals eat first. 
I think it'll be something interesting. Y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. I got some grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> Again, people. Let me tell y'all something. I live in New Orleans, and we have a place that's two miles, two, no, I see two, Jesus. It's a two-hour ride, and the road that we get here is straight as an arrow. And I find this the whole way home. If you're going to come out here and hunt, have a camp, enjoy the wilderness, the outdoors, pick your damn trash up. I don't understand why they got bags on Highway 35 in Mississippi the whole length. And I know it's people coming here to hunt. They got corn bags the whole highway. Why? Lazy. Throw it away. Bring it back to the camp. Burn it. Whatever. Throw it away. Please. Talk to y'all in a minute. All right. Well, I'm finished my fussing session. Picked up my trash. Y'all pick y'all's trash up. I'm going to end this video right here. Me and... Look at him. Look at three pounds of fury. I got a half pit bull dog, so I had to put this collar on him because the dog liked to pick him up and drag him around by, the, by his neck. So I got him a collar. Look at him. He's bad. He's a bad dude. Eddie. Eddie. See how good he listens? So let me tell you, if you like this video, you want to see some more of uh, what, what the animals want to eat, please, please like, share, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel. Just made 160 subscribers. We're on our way all the way to the top. No, I don't know, really. 160, though. Not bad, I guess. I don't do this for a living. I just come out here and have fun, make a little content, show y'all what we're doing out here on the Ponderosa, and then we go home. So if you want to see it, hit that notification bell. That's all you got to do. And then we're, every, we're going to be doing Cam's Black Widow 22 when we get back here. Everybody, oh, your scope rings are too high, this, that, and the other. All these experts we got, we're about to zero that thing in and shoot some golf balls, I believe, some old eggs or something at about 100, 150 yards. So... I don't know about the experts, but look, we just hunters. We ain't, look, we ain't, uh, we're not gun experts. We're not any kind of experts. We tried growing garden. We done killed every, I don't know. We just come out here and hang out. That's all we do. So if you want to see more videos of me feeding the wildlife, corn, Kool-Aid, molasses we're gonna put all kinds of stuff in here over the summer just to see what everything comes and eats like subscribe hit the notification bell and you shall see y'all have a great day i appreciate you watching if you made it this far you a trooper thanks a lot peace out